Owning a cat is a fascinating experience filled with a spectrum of strange behaviors and peculiar sounds. If your furry friend occasionally indulges in catnip, you might wonder what exactly does catnip do to cats? While you might have insight into why your cat purrs, why your cat sleeps excessively or meows non-stop, the moment some cats get a whiff or nibble of catnip, their behaviors can take a sharp turn towards the bizarre. But beyond its entertainment value, this herb has well-documented benefits for our feline's well-being, leaving us curious about the precise effects on our beloved pets. So what exactly is catnip? Nepeta cataria, better known as catnip, belongs to the mint family and can grow up to three feet tall. Originally found in Europe, it made its way to North America during the European settlements. However, catnip isn't the only herb known to spark reactions in cats. Other herbs such as silver vine, valerian root, and tartarian honeysuckle also induce some similar effects on their behavior. So if you have a cat that doesn't get off on catnip, then you might seek out some of the alternatives. By the way, like catnip, these herbs are also safe for your cat in small amounts. Remember, moderation is key. Let's look at the effects of catnip on cats. Cats are inherently attracted to catnip due to a fascinating combination of sensory stimulation and its calming impact when ingested. The volatile oil found within the stems and leaves of the catnip plant serve as a catalyst, igniting a range of reactions in our cats. This oil is the source of nepotalactone, a compound that acts as a trigger for feline receptivity. When cats encounter the scent of catnip, it's as if a switch is flipped, initiating behaviors like those displayed in female cats in heat. You might see some erratic movements, distinctive vocalizations, and an intriguing blend of energetic yet unpredictable actions, all of which can provide endless fun for cat parents to experience. The allure of catnip often prompts cats to engage in playful antics, such as rolling around, performing acrobatic flips, and enthusiastically rubbing against surfaces. This captivating sequence of behaviors culminates in a trance-like state, which is an absorbing experience brought about by the influence of nepotalactone. At this point, you might think your kitty will contract a good case of the munchies. The captivating effects of nepotalactone are the result of its interaction with receptors located in a cat's nasal passages. Upon binding to these receptors, nepotalactone initiates a cascade of sensory neuron activity, setting off a whirlwind of responses in your cat's brain. This sensory frenzy induced by nepotalactone presents a captivating and stimulating experience for cats, leading them to become entirely absorbed in the effects of catnip. As a result, they revel in the engaging and often mesmerizing state brought about by their interactions with this natural herb. The effects of catnip on your cat are short-lived, only lasting between 5 and 30 minutes. This duration varies in individual cats, with studies indicating that only about two-thirds of adult felines are affected by this herb. Only about 50% of cats will respond to catnip, and the behaviors can be as different as each cat's personality. Also, your cat's sensitivity to catnip is inherited, and it takes time to develop in a cat, as most young kittens are not affected. If you think your cat might appreciate a catnip-induced nap, or a playful catnip frolic around the room, consider making catnip crackers for their enjoyment. What are the benefits of catnip? Well, for indoor-only cats, providing adequate mental and physical stimulation is crucial to their well-being, as well as the well-being of the furniture in your home. As responsible cat owners, you understand the challenges of being available for play every moment your feline companion is awake. Research demonstrates that, like all animals, cats require mental and physical exercise for their happiness. Engaging experiences such as sniffing or consuming catnip can contribute to that enrichment. Cats deprived of sufficient stimulation might become aggressive, depressed, or anxious. This manifests itself in lots of unwanted cat behaviors in your home. 
Beware of these subtle signs indicating that your cat might be feeling down. However, it's essential not to overdo it with catnip as excessive consumption can lead to dizziness or vomiting. Offering catnip once a week in small amounts is advisable. Fresh catnip is more potent than dried. And catnip sprays can be applied to a favorite toy or scratching post. So here's the big question. Does catnip get your cat high? Although catnip might initially appear to possess some mind-altering properties, it's important to note that it is in habit forming. However, some observations suggest that catnip could sporadically trigger aggressive behavior in felines. In households with multiple cats, you might want to try introducing catnip to each cat individually at first to avoid potential conflicts and ensure that each kitty enjoys their catnip experience without any intercat discord. We reward our cats with catnip from time to time. They love it and we get a ton of pleasure watching them. Do you give your cat's catnip to chillax? Please share your catnip stories with the community below. And now that you're familiar with how catnip affects your feline friends, you might also be curious about why cats eat grass. Have a look at this video to explain whether or not you should be concerned about this. And I'll see you there.